Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's so good to have you here. Uh, my name is Pradika and I'm a mom of two kids, uh, almost five year, five and a half year old and a seven month old. And I, it is uh, World Breastfeeding Week, so I thought that I would do a little video about nursing in public and um, give you guys a few tips around nursing in public. So I've nursed both my kids. Um, I, I, I nursed my daughter for two and a half years and I'm already breastfeeding my son. And I have pretty much nursed everywhere that you can imagine. I've nursed them in planes, trains, playgrounds, friends' houses, play dates, restaurants, you name it, I have nursed them uh, there. Um, I have never, or maybe once or twice, gone into a nursing room, special nursing room for breastfeeding mamas uh, when I was just starting out on my breastfeeding journey but usually I never um, I always tend to breastfeed in public uh, and I find it most comfortable that ways and I've not had any problems um, with that uh, so I just thought I'll give you a couple of tips around uh, what you know what are the different things that I do uh, to be able to do that so the first um, tip is obviously to know your rights. So the Indian government doesn't really talk about, uh, you know, any any regulations around breastfeeding in public, nursing in public, uh, but it is a pretty, you know, culturally we are a country that have been, you know, we nurse our babies and, you know, we've been doing that for generations. Um, so most people are, I wouldn't say are very used to seeing nursing mamas uh, but um, there isn't a law that bans you from nursing in public so it's important to know your rights if you're in a place and you're nursing somebody uh, uh, sorry nursing your baby and somebody comes and walks to you, walks up to you and says maybe you need to go somewhere else just politely smile at them and say no you're perfectly comfortable here your baby's hungry and you need to nurse wherever you are and it has nothing to do with anything else but you and your baby so knowing your rights goes a long way in sort of having that confidence to nurse in public and generally you will see 90% of the people are perfectly fine with having a nursing mom around I don't think anybody really has an issue with it especially in our country uh, but if you do encounter that know your rights and that know that you have the right to feed your baby wherever you are um, the second tip I would say is just being, um, uh, just planning a little bit in, in advance. So if you're heading out of your house for about three to four hours, right before you're leaving, uh, nurse the baby, and then uh, plan for a break about an hour and a half, two hours uh, after leaving the house, because that's when you'll need to probably nurse your baby again. So just keeping an eye out, just adding those extra 20 minutes into your schedule when you're out and about, making sure you're around comfortable places like a park bench or a sofa or a coffee shop where you could just nip in, sit down for a little bit and nurse your baby. And um, that is something that I found super useful knowing that it's going to happen and you need to, you know, consider extra 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there when you're nursing, uh, when you're uh, out and about with your baby. Third tip would be to dress for the occasion, obviously. Um, and uh, there are many options now. It wasn't so five years ago, but there are now many options around nursing wear that you have. H&M has some, Malcare has some, um, you can find some stuff on First Cry and Jabong as well. But uh, I find that most of the nursing wear is not really great quality and also tends to be expensive. And so what I do most of the time and have been doing for five years is I dress in layers. So I wear something like this. Um, it is a, so, so basically this is a camisole with what they call a shelf which is basically that it has like kind of like an inbuilt bra. Uh, so I wear this underneath a baggy top and then I wear a baggy top on top. And this is from Jockey, but you get these from Mother Care, Marks and Spencers, a bunch of other places. And what you do is that you wear this and wear a baggy top on top. And then when it's time to nurse, you pull up your top, pull down the camisole, nurse your baby, and the, the top on top provides coverage. Uh, uh, 
for the upper half and the, the top below provides coverage for the lower half and nobody will really even know that you're nursing. Uh, it'll take you a couple of tries to get good at it, but nobody will even know that you're doing it. They'll probably just think that you're holding a nursing baby and um, it's just a really convenient way. Once you're done, you just pull up this top, pull down your baggy top and you're good to go. So I found that just with your existing clothes, you don't need to buy any, any special clothes for nursing, just these existing clothes are good enough. Uh, the other um, clothing hack that I would suggest is buying a, uh, you know, using a scarf. I'm sure most of us have like these thin scarves around and just using one of these, uh, I wear it around. The only reason I will wear the scarf is if we are out and about, I know that my baby is going to be distracted. When they reach about four or five months of age, babies tend to get distracted with all of the stimuli around them, especially when they're out and about. They want to see all the lights and the sounds and the smells and so I find that if I have something like this and then I just put the baby on top just drape the scarf like a really you know thin scarf over him and that gives him just a little bit of uh, incentive to just nurse and get on with it instead of looking around and not nursing and getting hungry in the next 30 minutes so I found that scarves are super useful as well and plus they look stylish um, in my opinion and then this other thing which is these kind of like infinity scarf slash nursing covers it's a really soft material stretchy thing that you just wear like a scarf you can totally wear it like it like a scarf after your baby is done nursing but basically again it's the same thing it provides some coverage so that your baby is not distracted it's not to cover you it's just to make sure that your baby is not distracted when you're nursing so um, that is an option. And um, the, the fourth tip that I have for you is uh, just being confident. And I know it's a very obvious one. And I know it, if you're a first time mama, especially in the first two, three months when you're just establishing breastfeeding, it might get quite uh, weird for you. Uh, you might feel a little bit odd. But if you have a you know, confidence and know that what you're doing is right by you and by your baby. Um, you know, it, things get so much more easier. Most people in India are supportive. Uh, if you see another nursing mama around, flash her a smile, tell her she's doing a good job. That also goes a long way in normalizing uh, breastfeeding as well. But just knowing that what you're doing is completely normal because it is. Uh, and, and having that confidence does go a long way as well. I do have a bonus tip for you also, which I've used a bunch of times. If I'm in a mall which is really crowded and it's really noisy or I haven't found a place to uh, like sit, like a comfortable bench or a comfortable sofa to sit and nurse my baby, I usually walk into a store, ask them to try on something and go into the trial room. Trial rooms are usually really quiet places and um it's and and usually have some sort of seating uh you can ask them for the handicap trial room as well most big stores have them and then you can go in nurse your baby in a quiet environment it takes 10 minutes and then you get out some of my nicest memories with my babies have been in trial rooms because um they nurse and then they get up and you know usually trial rooms have like multiple mirrors and so they will look around and be really fascinated with all of the mirrors and all of the reflections and all of that. So um, that's another tip for you as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you never have to uh, be in a place where you'll have to go to a toilet or something like that or a disgusting place to nurse your baby um, and that you feel confident enough to breastfeed in public. Uh, I totally understand if you don't, but I, I do feel like, it, you know, it is definitely our responsibility as breastfeeding mamas to normalize breastfeeding. And one of the best ways to do that is to nurse in public, is to nurse not in front of other people so that they know, like, it's, it's you know, it shouldn't be that if you have to nurse your baby, you have to go into a room and, and hide from everybody. Um, and I hope you're able to do that and uh, I hope your breastfeeding journey uh, is as pleasant as you would expect it to be. 
Um, if you have any other tips around nursing in public, do write them down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!